So here's a little update that Came TV has done with their Bowens adapter with their bolts and LED lights, um, either the 30 watt or the 55 watt. So one of the things people were talking about was how when you would add the yoke to the LED light here, you notice that um, there is nothing to really lock this down. So although you're able to use the light on its own and position it any way you want and clamp it down any way you want, once you started to add a Bowens adapter and added certain accessories to the front, um, the light would sag. So basically, you can see it's just kind of a smooth surface here. They do give you some washers and some clamp knobs. Uh, so you would add, add it over here and you would clamp it down. Um, but because it was so smooth that once you added enough weight to the front of this LED light with the Bowens mount, it would kind of slip. Okay, it would slip under pressure. Now, they've added this rosette kind of kit with the Bowens mount. So this kit right here won't come with your light. It won't come with the yoke. It will come with the Bowens mount kit and that will allow you to secure the light better when you're adding Bowens mount accessories. Now I have to tell you, I still wouldn't add anything massively heavy to the front of this light. Um, you still want to stick with just small enough Bowen adapters maybe like a 40 centimeter soft box, which they sell as an option. But you don't want to go too big, you don't want to go too heavy, because this light, you know, it's still a small light. It's not designed to take a lot of weight. Remember, you have a push and pull front end here. So if you were to expand this um, and put too much weight on here, I think it could stress this out. This is mainly just a kind of a push and pull. It's That's how they designed it to focus the light uh, from spot to flood. So you don't want to push this out and then put a lot of weight on here. Now, you know, you could add Bowens mount accessories, don't get me wrong, but just don't get too crazy with it. Um, anyways, let's take a look at how this rosette adapter works now to secure the yoke. Uh, it basically gives it a positive lock, so it's really going to hold on very tight. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the yoke and you're going to add these little clips here on the inside and you're going to add another clip on this side, little lock here, and then it's gonna mesh up with these rosettes that you're going to add to the light. So what you wanna do is you want to add this. Now you notice how, how it's keyed. You see the little tabs, the little ears up on here. That sits right in between here. So you're gonna put that right there, snap that in, line up the hole. Now that rosette won't slip, it won't turn because again, it's keyed. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Make sure the holes are lined up. And then we're gonna add the yoke, just like this. And you can see that once we have these two lined up here, once we clamp this down with our clamp knobs, it's gonna have a positive lock and it'll prevent that from slipping under weight, under load, you'll have basically rosette connections on the yoke now. Once again, these little pieces here won't come with your standard bolts and light. Um, so your yoke will just kind of look like this. It'll mount like that. Remember, this holds really well. It's only if you're trying to attach something heavy to the Bowens mount that it's going to slip under a heavy load. So these little rosette adapters here will come with the Bowens mount adapter that's optional for the 55 and 30 watt bolts ins. Um, so if you guys are wondering if, you know, it's gonna slip under pressure like some of the reviews have said, this is the update now. These little uh, additions, rosette addi additions here um, will improve the positive lock on the yoke for your lights. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, I'll have a link below this video or on the blog, cheesycam.com.